Hi, I'm Jamie DeGrazia, and I believe that hair has no gender. And we want you to get safe space educated with us. My name is Vernon Francois. I'm delighted to be here so we can have an honest and flexible discussion about what it means to include everyone. Hey, my name is Amanda. I am a queer and non-binary person who uses they, them pronouns. I am here to push the boundaries of this hair world. I believe we can elevate this industry and world by creating a safer space for all to thrive. Hi, my name is Adina Das. I am a salon professional. I am a inner and outer beauty specialist. Hi, my name is Ray Sweet Sandoval. I use they, them pronouns, and I'm the education coordinator at the It Gets Better Project. The It Gets Better Project is a global nonprofit organization with a mission to uplift, empower, and connect lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, and queer youth around the globe. We envision a world where all LGBTQ plus youth are free to live equally and know their worthiness and power as individuals. And we hope to create that world through our storytelling efforts. Hello, my name is Madden Lopez. My pronouns are they, them, and he, him. I'm the executive director and founder at Project Q Salon and Community Center. And I'm also the lead stylist. Hi, I'm Emmanuel Munoz, Emmanuel. It's easier, uh, pronouns he, him, or they, them, either is fine. And I'm the associate director of Project Q. At Project Q, our whole mission is to be able to create justice and joy through hair, right? And a lot of that is making sure that um, folks are able to show up and have a safe space to feel the most themselves without explanation. And a lot of that folks that we serve are actually folks who are queer, black and brown, right? Trans and unhoused or uh, living outside. Hi, my name is Dr. Miguel Vasquez, and I am a gay clinical psychologist, and I work with and for the LGBTQ plus community. When I was 19, I was deciding if I should come out. The struggle of thinking that my parents may reject me or that my friends will not be my friends anymore just because of who I liked was devastating. In psychology, I found a way of helping others deal better with that struggle. Once in psychology, I quickly understood that the antidote to hate is education. That's why this project is so important.